Lasso TV. We back at T TV La Star for Star Nah. What's going on, man? I'm gonna tell a little story before I play it. Growing up, we had different individuals that used to Different boys, they used to move in and out the neighborhood. Some would stay, some would go. Some would become more cooler than others. But it was always that main group. And I was all, um, already a part of that group just from growing up um, out there my whole life. So we always had some loyalty or bond over the main group of people that we already quote unquote been knowing and we never really gave anybody outside of that a real fighting chance as far as being in the group you could be an associate of the group but it was rarely or rarely seldom where people we let people just quote unquote call themselves a part of our group back then. There was no gang banging shit, just some neighborhood shit. The whole point I'm making is a lot of them niggas that we the twos and fews of the niggas that we did let into the group or got cooled away because we knew them for longer turned out to be fuck niggas. Or the niggas that we had already grown up or the niggas I had already grown up with now niggas just live in this delusion and niggas can't see eye to eye, man to man. And the sad part about it is a lot of the people that I was just speaking about that we quote unquote didn't let get too attached to us in certain different ways. Them people turned out to be more realer than a lot of the people that we thought was real just by the shit that they was willing to do back then. Say, hold on, what you mean? A lot of them other people, they locked up for way more serious shit than the people that we thought was going to be the ones doing some shit or the ones that was doing some shit back there turned out and um, did some backdoor um, type shit. So this is what's happening now in the music industry where... We all grew up to Soldier Boy music and shit. And I ain't think Soldier I ain't think nothing less of less than Soldier Boy as far as I didn't think that he was a bitch or I ain't look at him as a goofy or none of that. Back in the day when I was growing up when he came out around our era. So the simple fact is that now we in a different climate, as I like to say now. We got people that like Lil Durk and all these other motherfuckers, amigos. Now they think they three times, four times bigger than a nigga and they can't even get the same respect back that a nigga gave you before you was even at a point next to me or even higher than me. It shouldn't matter, but you should at least be willing to extend the hand back down if somebody extended their hand down to pick you up. So the same little niggas that we didn't help back in the day is the same niggas that didn't snitch on nobody, that went and did their time on their own or stood on something for the group as a whole after certain events happened and they stood 10 toes down even though they um, knew that we was outnumbered and we always was outnumbered. And when the guns start to get involved, being outnumbered ain't the best um, option for a lot of people. Well, it's definitely the quickest option. Imagine striking hair color in your hands with a keratin-infused anti-breakage formula. And over 120 years of expertise, you can. Sure, it's called cool. keratin color. Let me watch commercials over here. So doing a burst for me, you know what I'm saying? This ain't real. No cap. But y'all know what's going on, though. Y'all know it. Going on. I'm still having the 
shit. Still have emotion. Really don't need no song with you. Chelsea, what up? Toxic, what up? ATK, what up? Don't boy, what up? All they gotta do is look up Soldier Boy and Lil Dirk Eater. This man, first mixtape. I'm talking about nobody knew who Lil Dirk was. Not. Some people could say, oh man, he doing it for the cloud and all this yip yip yap shit. But in reality, he was the first one coming out here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he was the first one that came out here doing the dances and shit like that, actually going viral on YouTube. So, <clears throat> so if any people got the right to get on social media and do certain shit, it's the people that already was indulging in this type of shit and kind of paved the way for what everybody else is just now beginning to have an opinion on. Because people, he been doing YouTube, but I don't think he had a whole comment section of fanboys and this shit talking about, oh, you're not good at such and such, or you're not good as goddamn stanky leg. You ain't good at D for well. Motherfuckers weren't saying that stupid ass shit. No, why? Because it was our generation back then there. So we was just listening to the fucking music. We went in the, um, in the comment section, sitting in the motherfucking house all damn day. That's, hey, to each his own, though. Get a record deal. What the my feature back at, nigga? When you was in the hood, you was unsigned. I was doing songs with you for free. You get a little cut. Can't send me no verse back. That's crazy to me, my That's not real, my hmm. If you do something for somebody... In retrospect, you supposed to do something in return if they somebody did something for you. So if you do something for, um, for somebody, you don't necessarily have to expect it. But if you if something does happen as far as they get um, gain more momentum, doesn't have to be more than you or less than you or higher than you. But if they just gain some traction and so mo momentum in the same career field that we in, why not just look out for me? Because it wasn't gonna hurt you. It wasn't going it wouldn't hurt Lil Dirk to get a uh to have a, a soldier boy diss I'm not saying a soldier boy diss. That probably would goddamn be who knows. It might that's what it might turn into. But it wouldn't hurt him to have a soldier boy feature. But now Lil Dirk's in this such big spotlight that Soldier Boy look like goddamn Young L.A. to him. If you don't know who Young L.A. is, then to each his own. And I ain't vouching for Soldier Boy saying he a realest nigga, no. But what he did do, goddamn, is fuck with them younger dudes that was coming up after him. And knowing that he came from Chicago and people probably wasn't fucking with him like that, so guess what he did in return? Being a young nigga, what the young niggas always say, man, if, uh, if I get around, I'm gonna fuck with everybody. I'm gonna get, I get everybody features. At least that's what we said back then. Now these kids ain't saying that shit. It's all my, 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 my. This ain't this niggas ain't a whole bunch of carpet munching ass niggas out here for real. So you can't blame Lil Dirk for not doing it. So I'm not definitely, I definitely ain't blaming Lil Dirk. And saying, oh, he should do it. But no, this goes to show you what type of niggas is out here, though. If you help a nigga build a bridge, and once he get across that bridge, if he start to break, uh, make his own bridges where he can cross and get further away from you than you thought that he was going to be able to, he may not never need to come back and use your bridge again. Is that wrong? Is it right? I mean, now if he reached out to him, so now if Soldier Boy went across his bridge to um, to be able to connect to Lil Durk on another bridge in another different um, manner since it's been years later, and he denied him access or denied him the feature, the feature, then I guess it could be on Lil Durk. I mean, do you have to do anything these days? No. Just like G Herbo and a whole bunch of these other um, niggas. So, a soldier boy, if you good, you good then. But like I said, since she started on the internet doing this, 
viral shit, this is where the world is going. So people need to get used to more and more people expressing their differences through the internet instead of in actual real life because we don't see the people that we disagree with in real life anymore because we don't talk to the people in real life anymore. But get away before they get famous. They don't want to get famous. I can I can't even get a song from you no more. That's crazy. But when y'all was in the hood and ain't nobody know who y'all was, I was doing songs with y'all. Chief Keith, Lil Dirt, Migos, Famous Dex, Risky Kid. I I did a song with now. Did I do the song? And Famous Dex is the original. The um, description of what an actual fuck nigga is. Because he slid his ass straight through the cracks and literally left everybody that he knew in Chicago. And they wasn't even on no shoot em up, gang banging, I kill every day shit. So he still left them niggas behind to do what? Get high on drugs and suck dick and slob at the side of the lip? Fuck out of here. So you know, these niggas is be carpet munching ass niggas. These niggas will do anything to get above the nigga that helped them. Because once you get above the person that helped you, you feel like you ain't never gonna have to go back down there for that nigga that had to help you again. So know why now you feel like you a big dog. Everybody wanna be the big dog. Before I got famous was Rich the Kid. Before Rich the Kid signed his deal, we did a song. After Rich the Kid signed his deal, we did Ricky Morty remix. Everybody and Chief Keith, and me and Chief Keith. Every other, when y'all unsigned, I did a song with y'all. As soon as y'all got on, y'all ain't shot me out. Y'all ain't do no song. And it ain't like y'all just got this the goddamn the A1 cracking it ass music. Goddamn, probably five out of ten of y'all songs be goddamn trash to people that he goddamn named. So the simple fact that y'all couldn't put him on one of them shit probably would have turned y'all shit up on some um, late 90, early 2000 type shit. Because that's the era we come from. But niggas is so into intertwined with this new millennial generation, they don't even, the people that, a lot of people that even come from the 90s generation don't even embrace that this shit no more. Man, what we don't embrace this shit no more? This is designer. What fuck is y'all talking about? All these other goddamn Italians and German clothes y'all wearing on goddamn special gender motherfuckers wearing, buying, uh, making apparel. No, this is designer right here. You ever see the shit I had on earlier? Tom and Jerry. Hey, Arnold. Shit like that, man. If y'all don't know about that shit, if you don't believe in shit like that, man, this ain't for you. And I don't want to be nowhere connected to people that is just disconnected from shit like this. Not the cartoon, nigga, but the actual goddamn historical value that this is going to hold in the future. Say, what you talking about? Same thing Soldier Boy talking about. That once you get to a certain point, niggas don't want to wear this shit no more. This is what the fuck I'm saying. Once you get to a certain point, niggas don't, can't, they too good to embrace where we actually came from. So now you've got to overindulge yourself in designer clothes, designer shoes. Foreign um, cars, foreign women, foreign clothes, foreign this, foreign this, foreign that, designer this, I got to spend bread this, I got to have hoes this, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to drink lean this. Nigga, really? That ain't where we come from. But do you, uh, do what you do, my friend. Me, I don't say shout out to them for, me, for doing a verse for me, you know what I'm saying? Look, see, the last thing he said, they didn't even give him, they couldn't even give him a shout out. So fuck all the song shit that I was saying at the beginning. Why did, why not, did you, why, you know why, Soldier Boy? Because most of these entertainers, most of these rappers, and most of these niggas, and all of these females, their social media is their partner, it is their girlfriend, it is their boyfriend. It is the person that is in their life that does exactly what you tell it to do. And it will 
and you can portray yourself through that social media as whoever you want to. Or if you want to add on a little additive, you can do that as well. You know why? Because this is why people hold their social medias so close to their heart. They don't want to goddamn share nobody's shit. They don't want to post nobody's shit. They don't want to goddamn give a shout out. Yo, if you got millions of fans and shit, and you got millions of subscribers or millions of goddamn followers on Instagram, and you ain't doing at least a goddamn one shout out a day every day on your shit just for, for random people that got little shit going on just to give them a little bump up. Then I ain't, man, they ain't got time for that. If they ain't got time to help out the people that's helping them, then this is how you know this world is moving backwards. Because then y'all knowing they don't have time for y'all, but in return, y'all giving them y'all time. Because they won't even share your shit. Because Soulja Boy got just as bad of, um, enough money as Lil Durk and Migos now. Y'all, a lot of y'all fanboys might say, no, -uh, they got way more money, way more money. Y'all don't know what other side businesses that, that uh, man in. Exactly, so I'm not here to goddamn count another man um, pockets. But what I'm saying is he got the same amount of money that they got to do the same shit. So if they not even giving somebody like that on his level a shout out, then he ain't giving the they fans no shout out. They don't really give a fuck about nobody but they self. And that's what he clearly just um came out and said. That they won't even give me a shout out and I'm the I'm one of the ones that helped them, goddamn put them, get I gave them some of my goddamn shine. When you earlier on in the stage of rapping and shit like that, the more features you do, if you hot, the less your shine becomes to be. Because if those other people that you're doing features with can outshine you in any small d different details, some of your fans may um, God dang, resonate with the other person a little bit more than you, even though they might still rock with you. But then now your views have been split in half. Because at the same time, I want to go look up this person. I might want to look up you, you too. But now I'm going to have to choose on certain days and certain times and occasions. It's been real. TV list style from the style nine. <clears throat> you not real. Soldier Boy goes off in a little dirt. Soldier Boy probably one of the last realest fake niggas in the goddamn industry. I'm going to leave it at that. We gone.